वेलकम टू साइंस इनोटिव ब्रेन वाई वी नीड गेट ड्राइवर इन पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वाई वी नीड अ गेट ड्राइवर सर्किटरी फॉर द स्विचिंग ऑन द पावर स्विचेस और टर्निंग ऑन द स्विचेस before discussing gate drivers we should understand why gate driver required and how many types of the gate driver topologies are there so we'll discuss what is gate driver and type of the gate driver based on turning on and turning off topologies so first we will discuss what is gate driver so gate driver is a power amplifier which is taking a very small or low power input from the controller and giving the high current to the gate circuitry of the mosfets so that we can turning on and turning off the gate of the power switches so gate signal is applying between the gate terminal and source terminal of the switches so if we have a power switch this is the gate terminal and this is the source terminal and this is the drain terminal we can say positive and negative return and this is the gate so we have to apply a gate signal between these two terminals so this is called this is one voltage and between this so with this is vgs and this is applying between the gate terminal and source terminal to turning on and off of the switch whether it is igbt or mosfet mosfet in the mosfet so many categories are there whether any type of the mosfet whether silicon or silicon carbide or galvanium so this is the gate drive voltage that we have to apply to the gate of the power switches to turning on and turning off so we will make one model to understand why we required this gate drivers so for the any switches mosfet will make a proper model so let us assume this is your mosfet so in the mosfet this terminal is called drain and this terminal is called source and this is called gate terminal gate but if we see the actual model there are some parasitic capacitance are there the capacitance is forming between gate and source so here one capacitance will come this is called c g s between gate and source and one more capacitance will come between drain and gate terminal so we'll make one more capacitor so this is called c gate and drain 
capacitance of the MOSFET. And one more is there for free willing diode is added in some of the MOSFETs. Reverse diode for the protection inbuilt is there. So this is also giving some small capacitance of the diode. So this is called CDS drain uh, to source capacitance are there. So these three capacitance are there. So gate driver should drive this capacitance then only we can fast turning on and turning off the switches. So whatever the gate driver we have to select if this is the gate driver and here is one trigger signals are coming from the controller. So this part is called microcontroller. This is microcontroller and this is your gate driver and the gate driver is connected via one small resistance that is called gate resistance and then we have to putting you know, this the MOSFET. So this section is the your switch. So whatever the voltage given or current given by the drive it should having more capability or high current capability to charge this capacitance quickly and discharge this capacitance quickly. So gate driver will do two operation to charge charge and discharge C G D and C G S very quickly. Quickly. This is one job and second job to turn on and turn off the power switch quickly. Switch on off quickly. This job have to done by the gate drivers. And here I will give the answer in between why we need the gate drivers. When you will understand these things and then you can find the answer also in this. So your control if you are operating any switch without the proper gate driver then maybe your controller is not capable to give that much current which is required to charge and discharge this gate of gate capacity of the power switch that's why the controller which is we, we are going to use or any any system whether it is fpga or microcontrollers that are not able to give that much current that's why we require a gate driver so this controller will give a small vo voltage and current to the gate driver because gate driver will take very small or very less less power from the this system controller and giving the high current to the MOSFET gates so that it can turning on and turning off. So that's why the controller we require gate driver. Understand? Now we'll discuss the type of the gate drivers because some of the job the microcontroller cannot do that's why we have to choose the different type of the gate drivers as per the applications because of that only the types of the topology whatever we are charging and discharging on the switch that cannot do by the microcontroller. That's why we require the gate drive. That is second answer. 
so we'll discuss the type of the gate drivers type of gate driver based on turning on and off <coughs> of the switch this switch can be either mosfet or igbt or any other thing generally we are using for the mosfet and igbt scr having different topologies <coughs> 